Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Open Mic Night live at the Zoom Bar DC. We've got a great show for you tonight. We've got Bill Sherman, Joseph Stegner, Tom Mann, Steve Woolwine, Anna Rosa Sofsky, and Dave Sherman. And Dave Sherman's going to kick us off. So sit back, relax, and have a great time. All right. Thank you, Marie Thanks. Louise. Well, I got my uh, got my guitars back. So um, I'm going to do some stuff I haven't done for a while. And one of them is a Robert Johnson song. Can I get you? Stones in my pathway. And it's that, by the way, um, you know, this era, especially this era of blues that Robert Johnson was in, uh, most of the blues songs talk about a whole lot of pain. And this song uh, really has to do with uh, trying to escape the plantation. Anyway, it's called Stones in My Pathway. Got stones in my pathway And my road seemed dark at night I got stones in my pathway And my road seems dark at night Got a pain in my heart That's taking my appetite Got a bird to whistle And I have a bird to sing I got a bird that whistles And I have a bird to sing The woman that I'm loving She don't mean a thing My enemies have betrayed me Of overtaken upon me at last Enemies have betrayed me Of overtaken upon me at last The woman that I'm loving Put stones all in my path Try to take my life, my loving too. Built a pathway for me. What are you trying to do? But I'm hollering, please let us be friends. When you hear me hollering, your pathway right. Please open your door and let me in. truck home boy please don't block my road I got three legs of truck home oh, boy please don't block my road I'm ashamed of I'm a rider and booked and I got to go Well, I'm going to switch guitars. Is there an author? Did, is there a name who wrote that? Or is it just a folk? Uh, no, Robert. That's a Robert Johnson tune. Is it? Okay. Yeah, he's he credited Dave. with You're writing great. that. You're a great guitar player. What's that? You're a great guitar player. You really just, thank you. He, thank he you. just said he just said what's that so that he could hear you say it again. 
You know, that's okay. That's okay. You earned it. You earned it. I, I started daydreaming oh, no, wait, when the song ended, so I didn't applaud only because I was daydreaming. But, uh, but you sound I, uh, great. You're fun. I actually said it because I'm having trouble hearing. No, I, I know. I'm just teasing. I'm going to turn you guys up a little. Now I can hear you better. Um, anyway, I got this guitar back so I can do something acoustic, and I'm going to do... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do Willen, which I haven't done for ages, so I printed the words out because I always mess them up. Oh, hold on. My uh, this guitar has a battery. Let me do this again. Been warped by the rain, driven by the snow. I'm drunk and dirty, but don't you know that I'm still <laughs> going? I was out on the road late at night to see my pretty Alice in every headlight. Alice, Dallas, Alice. And I've been from Tucson to Tucumcari to Hatchapi to Tonopah, driven every kind of rig that's ever been made. Driven the back roads so I wouldn't get weighed. And if you give me weed, why tan wine? Show me a sign I'll be a river I've been kicked by the wind Right by the sleet, had my head stoved in, but I'm still on my feet, and I'm still willing. I smuggled some smokes and folks from Mexico, baked by the sun, every time I go to Mexico, and I'm still, and I've been from Tucson to Tucumcari. Hatch a Peter Tone upon you in every kind of rig that's ever been made. But driven the back road so it wouldn't get weighed. And if you give me weed, white sand. I'll be willing to keep moving. Yeah, I'm still. Excellent. Hey. Excellent. Love that song. That was fun. Thank you. Took yeah, one back. of my faves. What's that, John? Joseph? It took me back. I hitchhiked across the country when I was 17. I had to cheer up a girlfriend who was talking, ex-girlfriend who was talking suicide. And the only way I could get back there was to hitchhike. Well, I got a ride from one truck driver who had right on the dash there, ass, gas, or grass. Nobody rides for free. And I didn't have any of those to offer him. So he literally dropped me off in the most remote pitch black area, dark area out of Detroit. And uh, Nice guy. <laughs> what a shit. It's <laughs> pretty funny, but no, I love that song. I loved it. And Dave, I'm glad you got your guitar back. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, miss, I miss my guitars, man. I, I had one guitar. So Eric, had, so Eric had them all. Except for my telly, yeah. He had everything. Wow. Yep. Wow. And I've I got them that. up on the walls now, so. I love that song, and you did it beautifully. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. That's I'm going to hang a little bit, thing. but then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot. Okay, sounds good. Thanks Thank for coming. Thank you so much. 
See you next week. Bye. Bye. Um, okay. Uh, Joseph, you want to go next? Okay. I will. I had a moment when I was 10 years old where my mother and father came to a face-to-face and there's this thing in physics called the Higgs Boseman particle. It's like this, this neutral particle that splits into what could be positive and what could be negative. It splits its electrons, positive or negative. And I saw in this instant how things could have been okay, but the reaction that was given, my father snapped. And he started beating the crap out of my mom. And I've talked about this one incident before, but I've never talked too much about that incident before it happened. But it's driven me as a poet, as a paramedic, you know, having seen all that I've seen. And, and that's why I wrote the song that I'm about to sing. And uh, it's not against guns. If you own a gun, it's, it's about those who know that they have the power to kill. And because of it, they don't have to listen. They don't have to care. They don't have to be right. They just have to pull a trigger. So this is called, there's always a bigger mouth fish in the sea. There's always a bigger mouth fish in the sea that those who eat others are too late to see. Gun wielders who love to trigger, pushing buttons so evil swells bigger, will hide in their lies and their clever disguise to be how the peace within dies. Well, gun holders who love to trigger, who think that that tool makes them bigger, will swell in their pride as they go for that ride that icebergs submerge in their glide. So if you're talking of war like it's candy, a civil deed done by the dandy, as you turn on your own for the words that are sown that make your heart illwardly groan, you fall for the ruse of the right to abuse by the muse who puts loops to the noose. You think that it's vision to be lost in derision, the kind of division that fractures decision, ungodly the hands of its mission. As the sun breaks the clouds that brought all their rain and warms all the grass of the land. May the wind that shimmers each blade help the vision impaired understand. As the sun breaks the clouds that brought all their rain that warms all the grass on the land. May the wind that shimmers each blade Help the vision impaired understand. There's always a bigger mouth fish in the sea that those who eat others are too late to see. Gun wielders who love to trigger, pushing buttons so evil swells bigger, will hide in their lies and their clever disguise to be how the peace within dies. Well, gun wielders who love to trigger, who think that that tool makes them bigger, will swell in their pride as they go for that ride that icebergs submerge in their glide. So if you're talking of war like it's candy, a civil deed done by the dandy, as you turn on your own for the words that are sown that make your heart illwardly groan, you fall for the ruse of the right to abuse by the muse who puts loops to the noose. You think that it's vision to be lost in derision, the kind of division that fractures decision, ungodly the hands of its mission. As the sun breaks the clouds that brought all their rain and warms all the grass of the land. May the wind that shimmers each blade Help the vision impaired understand. There you go. There's another one. Thank you, Joseph. You know, you know, Joseph, I, I've been listening to you for a while, and uh, you've had a rough life. Yeah. And but, but what occurs to me is, um, you know, uh, a lot of people that have had rough lives, or at least the, the news would have us believe, 
like, you know, the guy who opens up and kills a bunch of people in a stadium, etc. Uh, and then the news goes, well, you know, he was abused as a child, or he was an orphan as a child, and he went from foster home to foster home as a child. And you're a testament to it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, with all, all the bad things that have happened to you um, and that you've witnessed, um, you're still a pretty positive guy. Thanks, and, yeah. And, and, I even... Somebody who, who is very peaceful. Thanks, thanks. You know, and I sometimes I attribute it to maybe I didn't get my ass kicked enough in life. <laughs> you know, I've always had good outcomes. So I, it's, but I'm staying on this path and no one will take me from it. You know, I even, I even pled to the judge to let the guy free who shot me. You know, it, it happened to a month after uh, Oscar Grant was shot and killed in the same neighborhood. And, you know, I just wanted some peaceful gesture, you know, show some goodwill, but the judge didn't agree with me. And, uh, you know, gave him some I just time. Don't. But, <laughs> but no, thank you. Thank you for recognizing that. And I agree with you. I think those who have felt pain should be more driven to end it. So, well, you know, yeah. I, me too. And, and it raises the question, why, why do some go the direction of, of uh, becoming killers and, and uh, uh, bringing pain to others? And why do some like you turn towards peace and want to have peace because they've witnessed uh, such yeah. horrible things. Coincidentally, I was on the great gun debate with Lyric Howard, Jay Ginsburg, and I was with, I was like the opposite opinion of Michael Tomas. And he said something in there that really caught my attention. And he said, some people haven't developed their empathy neurons. They're undeveloped in their empathy True. neurons. And I think that's a good way to describe it, that maybe something happens in life that they're just delayed in their ability to feel what others feel. So. No, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, when, when you talk about um, uh, people who are sociopaths, they do not have that gene or whatever the hell it is. They do not feel empathy. They do not feel uh, compassion. Right. We just had four whole years of it, and we keep getting sprinkled with it now. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's, and nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> I appreciate thank, the conversation. Thank you, I appreciate the conversation that you two just had. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. All right. Thank you, Joseph. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Steve, do you want to go next? Sure. How about that? Great. Here we go. Yep. Well, I'm still going through my original, so I apologize for my other brothers from the other Zoom. <laughs> They've heard it all before. <clears throat> it's okay. We like hearing it again. <laughs> Waited on trains across the tracks <clears throat> Looking to see how far back <clears throat> Can I start over? I got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Bear with me a second. Absolutely. Start over. Hold it. <clears throat> Did you just put the frog in the cup? <clears throat> I know. I spit it out. That's what I'm saying. You just put the frog in the cup. <laughs> I put it, yeah, I did. That's exactly right. Oh, man. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can do this over. <clears throat> Waited on trains across the tracks. Looking to see how far back can you see? Can you see? Wasn't raised on a farm, but we had cows in our backyard. Tree house and forts in the woods 
Like Daniel Boone and Robin Hood Waited on trains across the tracks Looking to see how far back Can you see? Can you see? That's how country we used to be Walnut battles and chicken fights Fried bologna cut just right Homemade peach ice cream on a hot summer night No matter where we would go We waited on trains to cross the tracks Looking to see how far back Can you see? Can you see? That's our country we used to be Flat and scrugs on our radio Roger Miller on our 33s Pliers that turn a channel on our TV To the hillbillies from Beverly We waited on trains Across the tracks Looking to see How far back Can you see Can you see And that's how country We used to be Times move on, places change Sometimes I still wait on trains Reminding me of those used to be's And these simple memories Waited on trains across the tracks Looking to see how far back Can you see? Can you see? That's how country we used to be Great song. Watered my eyes once again. Yeah. <laughs> really, you should be like this. Your every song you've done so far it should be like the soundtrack for a hit movie. I mean, they <laughs> they kind of hit. Really, they kind of hit movie where every single song is like, yeah, I want to play it again and again. Like, <laughs> Stars born kind of a thing. You really, because you you hit you hit <laughs> the storytelling in every one of them. So from this poet to you. Well done. <laughs> that, that means a lot, man. You guys are um, great to be supportive. And Dave and Bill and all those guys were were always that way too. And I always appreciate trying to gives me gives me hope to keep doing this a little bit. You should. You should. Hey, listen. On that note, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. Good to see you. Good to uh, see you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Later, Dave. Thanks, Dave. See you later. Oh, oh by the way, everybody. Week. By the way, everybody, I want you to say happy birthday to Dave Belated. Oh, it was, happy his, belated it was his birthday, birthday last Thursday. Happy birthday, Dave. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dave. Happy birthday. I, I think I got a happy birthday from just about everybody. So. Uh, okay. Well, now you got Thank it you. live. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great week. I'm not counting anymore. <laughs> I didn't say how old. I just said okay. it was a birthday. Okay. Bye. All right. <laughs> See you next week. Right. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Hey, Dave. Get some rest. <clears throat> All right. Try another one here. Sometimes some changes These days we found a way To go back in time To Thorn Rose Road and Kids playing in the backyard Watching family and friends on the front porch and Taking time to ask how you are On Thorn Rose Road It seems we got out in front of time Day we step back and realize it's not the time you spend, but the time you have on Thorn Rose Road. We pull the cord, turn off our screens. We want to feel the fresh air. The kind that blows through your window screen on Thorn Rose Road. It seems we got out in front of time. Today we step back and realize It's not the time you spend But the time you have On Thorn Road Road So pull the cord, turn off your screens We want to feel the fresh air breeze the kind that blows through your window screen on Thorn Road Road it seems we got out in front of time the day we step back and realize Simple things their life are back in style Like Thorn Rose Road Brilliant! <laughs> right on. Man, you rock, really. Just such a good storyteller. I just want to create a, an award for your... Story. I feel like I have to explain this song. <laughs> it's kind of like a, you know, it, it, for me, it's like going to a good place and, and, and kind of forgetting all this other whatever. Oh. And just thinking of simple stuff, you know. Well, anyone who's been there, you nailed it. And that's the thing. And all my travels, you just keep nailing the imagery, the, the kind of imagery that transport you right there. You can feel it taking that cord off the screen and feeling that wind blow right through. So I'll shut up now and let other people speak, <laughs> but right on. Thank you so much. I want to get a copy of the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the last line, Steve? Um, well, it's like Thornrose Road. It's a street. Is it it's a, like, I, 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 every time I've, I've heard that song like uh, two or three times, um, it, it, did you, is it a street you grew up on or a street that you were familiar with or? Yeah. You 
of course, of course. Yep, so it was centered around that, and, you know, when I wrote it, I was, I was trying to do like a little neighborhoody kind of a song for friends of mine and stuff, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, just trying to capture a couple simple simple thoughts and the things that were going through my mind when, when I was writing it. It's like uh, the one line is um, the, the wind coming through your window screen, and what that does for me is that, you know, when, when the wind's coming through, at least in that moment there, there, there is a, a, a fragrance. It, it's just different. You oh, know, yeah. it ain't, oh, it ain't yeah. like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. yep. Yep. It's, it's just a, it's a country fragrance kind of thing, you know, sure. being out. And, and something that unfortunately many of us have lost because we don't keep our windows open in the summertime. Nope. nope. Everything's sealed up. So it's, 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 it's kind of that thought process. So I like it. And I like that it's back in style now. (laughs) Well, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff I wrote during COVID. So there's, there's slight uh, references to being, you know, in the neighborhood and that kind of thing and being at home because people weren't going to work and stuff like that too. So it's kind of, working with that a little bit too. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. That was bravo, great. bravo. Um, Anna Rose, you want to go next? Uh, sure. Um, is that all right? That's... Yes. OK, I fixed the, uh, at least I think I fixed the squeaky pedal, so <laughs> some some grease on it. So it should, should not squeak now. Um, so I'll do, uh, so this is Can You Feel the Love Tonight by Elton John, um, also from Lion King. Uh, let's see. Restless warrior, just to be with you. And can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are. It's enough for this wide eyed wanderer. It's laid to rest. It's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe the very Wide-eyed wanderer, that we. 
Yeah, it's a fun, um, I was actually, I was in the pit, in high school, the middle school did this, and I was in high school at the time, so I was in the pit, and it was, <laughs> it was a really fun show to be in the pit for. It's cool. Um, so. um, all right, I'm actually gonna take out my uke for the next one. Um, so, let me just make sure, is that audible? Yeah. Okay. And um, this is Don't Think Twice, Bob Dylan. Well, it ain't no use to sit and wonder why I've been kissing you, you don't know by now. Do somehow when your rooster crows at the break of dawn. Look out your window and I'll be gone. You're the reason I'm traveling on. Don't think twice, it's alright. It ain't no use in a turning on your light. The light I never know. side of the road, but I wish that there was something you would do or say, to try to make me change my mind and stay, we never did too much talking anyway, don't think twice, it's alright.
kind of wasted my precious time. I love that line. And don't you let anyone waste your precious time and keep you back from being a star. That's for sure. Don't, don't, don't settle for less. And someone who recognizes all your greatness is really, you, you've got star quality. Well. You really do, Anna Rose. You and your brothers, it's great. Every time we're around, I'm like, yeah, and Rose is here. <laughs> Thank you. And likewise. Thank you. Where, where Thank is your you. friend now? What, what, Tom? Oh, I just, her brother is known as the friend of Anna Rose, so I wondered where the friend was tonight. Sorry. No, oh. that, 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 that was a friend. Her brother plays oh, drums. Sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah, my and guitar. brother plays drums and guitar. Yeah. And her friend Austin. That's his Never name. mind. <laughs> well, I'm not sure where he is. He, he might, he's in Utah. So uh, it's actually two hours behind there. So he might still be at work. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Anna Rose. Um, Thank you. Great songs. Okay. Uh, Tom, you want to go next? Yeah. Um, it was, um, you ever been in North Dakota? It's uh, God made the United States, so the North America, between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But it turned out he didn't do the measurements right. You don't measure twice, cut once. Turned out that the North America was just short of the two oceans. So he had to stretch North America. And it had to give somewhere. And that's the Dakotas. Where it's about as flat as you can possibly imagine. And uh, I had the good fortune to hitchhike across North Dakota one summer day in the summer of 1968. And uh, it's, uh, it's one of those experiences you kind of look back on fondly, but never, ever want to do again. It was very hot. It was uh, Interstate 94. I think they had just laid the concrete and there was nobody on it. And it's about as lonesome, uh, you know, if, if I had Mr. Dillon's skills, I probably would have written a song, Don't Think Twice, It's All Right, about this intolerable situation. Anyway, I was hitchhiking across country. It uh, wasn't going anywhere. It was hot. It was a Saturday afternoon. I'd always heard about guys hitching riding rail, and I'd never done it, and I thought that that would complete my... Uh, um, that would complete my uh, education as a, as a wanderer. So I ambled into the small town, went to the railroad tracks and decided I would catch the next freight car out. And uh, the way you do it is you, you go where they're making up a car. That is, they, they bring trucks to a little ramp and then the cars just gravity feed and join the, the, the train that's being made up of flat cars, box cars, oil cars, whatever. And the, uh, um, it, it's an awesome thing to see because some of these trains are 100 cars or more. And uh, they're, they're on this ramp and they, they travel at what's called uh, yard speed. It's about six miles an hour as they come down to be stationed, train uh, car after car after car. Anyway, uh, they don't stop for hitchhikers or pickups. So if you're gonna get on one, you gotta catch it while it's going by at six miles an hour. And uh, that doesn't sound like much, but you know, a box car coming at you at six miles an hour can be a religious experience because you, you, you gotta get close, but not too close. And even though it may seem it's an empty car, it's maybe empty of material, but you don't know who might else be in there. And that person may have gone around and left their uh, their scent on all four car corners of the box car. They ain't willing to share it with anybody, no matter how well intentioned you might be. So uh, I, I went. And I thought, I'm just going to steal myself for this. I'm going to I'm going to see that thing coming. I'm just going to hitch it on it like like Fred Astaire might spin Ginger Rogers. But again, an empty box car is no Ginger Rogers. And uh, I, I saw this coming. And I, 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 I had uh, an epiphany. I, I'm not going to do this. <laughs> and I stepped away from, from the car. And then I realized 
uh, freight car freight trains don't have a destination up front you know like this train is bound for lorry or, or whatever you're basically it's a crapshoot <laughs> you may be on your way to uh, tuscaloosa or you may be on your way to uh alaska and um you also don't know when it's going to be leaving or when it plans to get to wherever it's going to go so i decided that i was probably going to go back and take my chances on interstate 90 but um just that was my my, my brief moment of riding rail with cisco and Houston and, and all the other the greats from the 30s. And I guess what they had I didn't have was desperation because I could go back to the interstate or hell, I could go into town and get a bus. But um, that, that was my brush with ride and rail. Uh, and it, it, it's probably just as well that I <clears throat> took the slow way home because I was on my way to Chicago to go to the Democratic National Convention. That was in the summer of 1968. Yeah, it's probably just as well I didn't get there. So things worked out in the end. Yeah, Thanks. you missed getting your head bashed in. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Great story, Tom. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, I really identify because I hitched a lot when I was a kid. Oh, cool. Hitchhiked or hitched a train? No, I hitchhiked. I never hitched a train. No, no, no. Hitchhiked yeah. up and down the East Coast when I was like 14 years old, like an idiot. <laughs> really? That's pretty young. Yeah, it was pretty young. Yeah. I managed to see the, the two legendary highways of the West just as they were being replaced by interstates. And that was uh, Highway 66. Six, yeah. It was replaced by Interstate 80. And the legendary one, oh, one down the West Coast. It was replaced by Interstate 5. Five, but, yeah. Uh, in, in the late 60s, they still had their vibe of, of um, the 30s. Sure. And the 30s really weren't that far away from the 60s. We just thought so then. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I had the Grapes of Wrath on my backpack. Sure. I mean, look how, look how far away we are from the 60s now, and that'll tell you that the 30s weren't that far away from the 60s. Yeah, the 90s, that's equivalent. And look at that, was like all fresh in our memories. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, that's amazing. Regarding the news, to keep up with the news, I am heartsick at the metaverse. And oh, yeah. The only thing I can do to prevent that motherfucker from bringing this thing down on us just... It, it insults everything that we should live in a digital world, even as the natural world is burning up so that he profits from it. Uh, I mean, I can't express the contempt I have for those three guys, Zuckerberg uh, and, and the other two, uh, Musk and, uh, and, and uh, Bezos. I mean, they've left their humanity behind, but, but the, the metaverse is just, it's intrinsically evil as theologians would say to entice you into, it's like in Pinocchio where you were carried off to, uh, um, shut up, Tom, Never mind. I, I just, I just, I live alone and I have no one to vent with. So I'm venting and I need to shut up. Well, you know, I live. You're I venting this, in I, your company. I, I do the same thing, Tom. My counselor, I just, I, I just, I just had an appointment with my, I have an appointment with my counselor every Monday and I just really went off about um, a certain politician uh, and not Donald Trump, <laughs> but I just went off. I just, I had to, I had to get it off my chest so I can completely empathize with what you're saying, Tom. That's too easy. I, yeah, I can empathize as well. And I'm just containing myself to not jump in and talk right. about all the people that drive me crazy, right. but they, they would be on the list, so. Thanks, Tom, for I'm for getting proud like Madame Defarge. What? <laughs> in Tale of uh, Two Cities, Madame Defarge, and it's a yes. shroud. All the exa all the aristocrats, they're going to be head. Oh. Well, I guess you, I, I, so I'll just say, just add the guy that runs Brazil to that list. Uh, Bola cereal? Yeah. Awesome. I, 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 I was actually adding the guy that runs West Virginia. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, add, add him too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the whack job in Arizona. Yeah, right. Both of them. Oh, we could keep, 
Yeah, make a lot, very long list. Well, anyway, thanks, Tom. Great story. Um, okay, Bill Sherman's our closer for the evening. So. Well, look, first of all, my name is not Gant Kushner. <laughs> and I can't play like Gant Kushner. I can't play like Dave Sherman either. You play like Bill Sherman, which is Definitely. just fantastic. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah. I think I, you've closed before and you're great at closing. Well, well thank okay. you. Um, uh, now, unfortunately, twice, right. uh, I'm sorry, say it again. I just said, don't think twice. It's all right. Uh, yeah, don't think twice. Yeah, you just wasted my precious time. Don't think twice because it's all like, great, great lyrics. Um, so I didn't get much time to practice these two songs uh, over the past three or four days. Um, so forgive me if I'm a little. Um, first song is a Hank Williams song. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Hey, sweet baby, don't you think maybe you and me could make a new recipe? I got a hot rod Ford and a two dollar bill And I know a place up over the hill The serve soda pop and the dancing is free So won't you come along and take some fun with me Hey, good looking What you got cooking How's about getting something cooking with me Well, I'm free and I'm ready So we can go steady How's about saving all your time for me? Yeah, baby I'm no more looking I know that I've been taken How's about keeping steady company? Well, I'm gonna throw away my notebook over the fence and find me a new one for five or ten cents. I keep it till it's covered with age, cause I'm writing your name down every day. Well, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about getting something, baby? How's about getting something cooking? How's about getting something cooking with me? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Bill. Yeah, I feel I'm feeling a little countryish tonight. You know? Yeah, he went too soon. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And and I, I mean. I don't mean to cast uh, cast aspersions, but Hank Williams Jr. is not Hank Williams. <laughs> no, no, I mean no. Hank Williams. Uh, he did it to himself, but it's a yeah. great one. Yeah. Now, this next song is a bird song, and it's it's it's. I don't mean any. Uh, I I don't mean anything by singing this song to any. Buddy in particular, although I, you know, I live in Pennsylvania and I live closer to the sticks than I do the city. And there's a lot of people with trucks and with these, <laughs> and with, and with these flags flying off the trucks. You know what kind of flags I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So, so. He's a drugstore truck driving man. He's the head of the Ku Klux Klan. When summer comes rolling around, yeah, we'll be lucky if he ain't in town. He's 
got him a house on the hill. And he can play country records till you've had your fill. I forgot the words, so I'm gonna scroll up. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's a firearms friend. He's an all-night DJ. Sure don't care much for the records he plays. He's a drugstore truck driving man. And he's the head of the Ku Klux Klan. When summer comes rolling around, we'll be lucky if he ain't in town. Well, he don't like young folks, I know. He told me one night on his radio show. Well, he's got him a medal that he won in the war. Weighs 500 pounds and he sleeps on the floor. He's a drugstore truck driving man. He's the head of the Ku Klux Klan. When summer comes rolling around, We'll be lucky if he ain't in town. Well, he's been like father to me. He's the only DJ you can hear after three. I'm an all night musician in a rock and roll band don't know why he don't like me and i don't understand well i'm really screwing this one up well he's a drugstore truck driving man he's the head of the ku klux klan when summer comes rolling around we'll be lucky if he ain't in town when summer comes rolling around, yeah, we'll be lucky if we ain't in town. When summer comes rolling around, we'll be lucky if he ain't in town. Woo! Yeah, he's a drugstore truck driving man. Anyway, I got yeah, I got the point across there. <laughs> that was great. Thank you so much, Phil. That sure. Well, awesome. thank, thank you. So that's the birds. Yeah, that was the birds. Uh, although, uh, although, although, I, probably Joan Baez made it kind of more famous when she did it at Woodstock. Okay. Wow. Well, thank you. Well, th well, that's our show, everybody. Thanks for another open mic night live at the Zoom Bar DC. Thanks, thank Phil. you, Marie Louise. Thank, thank you, you Marie Louise. Marie Louise, thanks for having me. Good night. Thank you. Love to hear all of you tonight. Thank you. <laughs> See y'all next week. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love y'all too. See you next Love week. You. Have a great week. Bye. See you guys. Thank you, thanks, Joseph. Thank you, Marie Louise. Thanks, Anna Rose. Thanks, Tom. Good night, Marie Louise. Good night, Marsha. Good you. night. Thanks, you. Thanks, Steve. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. How do I turn this off, Steve? I gotta talk to you, Steve.